Welcome to Highway Caravan Centre. We're the number one dealer in South East Victoria for JB Caravans and Crusader Caravans. Offering comprehensive financing and great deals on trade-ins, our specialised technicians in our service department cover all your caravan needs from minor to major repairs, including competitive prices and great advice on your next escape. With over 40 new and used caravans in stock, stop by at 1975 Princess Highway Nanagoon for your next caravan adventure, because every journey begins on the highway. G'day guys, welcome to Highway Caravan Centre. My name's Andy, we've got Kylie on the video today. Uh, we've had a recently traded Jayco Journey Outback uh, caravan with independent suspension. So if you're looking for that vehicle to take you off the bitumen um, and get out and about with a bit of soul, a bit of battery, uh, then this could be the van for you. So let's have a little look through it. Uh, so we've got an extended A-frame here. The previous owner used to rest his generator on there when he was parked up. Uh, so that's what that uh, little uh, uh, plate is there for. Now we connected the van with a 12 pin and we've also got a reverse camera uh, which is a uh, nice solid bracket there so you just plug your extension in to the wire that suits that on your car and away you go with your monitor. Now if you have a look inside the boots, super super clean so usually a good sign that the previous owner looks after the, their, pro, their, their, their van really well, 2.9 kilo gas bottles. We have a little zoom into the plate there, you can see the weights. So we've got a ball loading of 221, we, sorry, uh, yeah, an empty ball loading of 221. We've got a tear weight of 2017, and then we've got our ATM there of 2492. So just under two and a half. So it's great if you've got the old, older Prados with two and a half ton towing, um, and it gives you about 475 kilos uh, of pay, uh, payload there as well. So that's pretty good for a smaller van. Now the code on this Jayco is 17.55, so it's a 17 and a half foot van with a combination toilet and shower, which you'll see when we go inside. Now we've got an external shower, which the uh, previous owner would have added on probably at the specification stage, uh, which is really handy for washing off or washing the dog down if you're you know, doing a bit of free camping by the bush. Now we've got some good tread on these uh, light truck tires, and you'll notice that we've got the Jayco uh, JTEC independent suspension underneath, uh, which has got the single shocker and the coil springs as well for a better ride. And the benefit of having independent suspension, even if you're not doing free camping, is that it uh, handles the vibrations better and, it, and it, you know, it stops that shaking as much of your van over time. So the integrity of your van is protected a bit better with independent suspension. So rear camera there, just confirming that. We've got a handy little clothesline which has been fixed to the back of the van, spare wheel. Rear bumper bar still in really good uh, nick, so it's been kept really tidy and clean. We've got our awning, looking at that, we've got no tears, no um, uh, dilapidation of the material on the back of the canvas there, so that's all good. Picnic table, power points, 12 volt for your TV and your antenna point as well, and there's a storage cupboard just in here. And we have a if I can get it out. Twist. A storage box there. All right, so really handy use of that space. Pop that back in. Lock that back in there. And away you go. All right, so just moving into the van itself. So we've got a, a front club lounge here, which is one of the most popular things uh, for comfort, especially if there's more than one of you. So it's great for eating around there, playing cards, playing games, whatever you want to do. We've got a front window to give us a bit more air. We've got storage in the back. We've got a uh, diesel heater, which is located here. That's our battery and everything else. Uh, we've got dual power point there. We've got a low down microwave, cooktop and grill, all nicely looked after. Uh, range hood, stereo, water tank gauges here, uh, which tells us how much water we've got in the tanks. We've got our sink, which returns around nicely, just underneath our wall-mounted air conditioning. So TV bracket here, large fridge, so it's about 150 litre uh, approximately. We've got a divider curtain for the bedroom section. Now, the way they've done this van is to give you the combo toilet and shower, which a lot of people want. Uh, you have to push the bed up to the wall there, so that bed obviously has that. A um, bit of storage, either side of the external storage slide out that we saw earlier, so there's still a good um, amount of space either side of that. And then we've got 
a robe and large cupboard space with a mirror on the inside of the door there as well so good space there and then our combination shower pushes in and you'll see that once we get this out the way just velcroed out the way that we've got a nice handy shower there showers just on the floor for travel purposes toilet uh, and then there's a base there to drop down to be able to uh, you know put any items on there while you're in the shower so shampoos and things like that it's got a vent at the top so you can get rid of um, the humidity and the steam from the shower zip that back over um, and then looking at the canvases apart from some just general finger marks which you'd expect uh, for a van that's been used for what it was bought for um, it all looks pretty good can't see any leaks or any signs of previous leaks um, so all in all it's been kept really really tidily a few extras on the van um, might be the right van for you do a bit of free camping so come and see us highway caravan center in nanagoon um, and we'll show you around the van